An Oxnell man accused of shooting out a red light camera wants those charges dropped. Today, a judge heard a series of motions from Clifford Clark and his attorney. At the top of the list, a request to dismiss vandalism and reckless endangerment charges brought against Clark after that shooting. In the past, Clark has claimed he had nothing to do with the crime, and his attorney also argues that police have little evidence against his client. Uh, bullet, there are no bullets, there are no bullet fragments, there's no audio, there's no citation of coming down the road at a high rate of speed. If you look at that transcript, the officer says, I stopped him because he came down there at a high rate of speed. We don't have a ticket for that either. In addition to asking for the traffic camera shooting charges to be dismissed, Clark is also requesting that authorities return a number of guns seized in an unrelated incident. Hi there. Uh, Hi. Dom Lee. Right here. Dom Lee. Uh, hi, Bill Short. Yes, I spoke to one of your uh, cameramen today, uh, Tim Dale. Yes, sir. We were covering uh, a trial. Yes, sir. Uh, Clifford Clark. Uh huh. And uh, I run a cable access show here. I was kicked out of the uh, courtroom, and uh, I was hoping to get a media pool, a copy of your raw data. I, a, a pool only, Tim discussed this issue with me, um, a pool only exists when the judge orders it to right, exist. Right, she did not order she that. She did not order that to exist. Well, she didn't say it didn't exist, but I don't think they've ever done a media pool in Knox County. They just yeah, let everybody in there. Exactly. So, she wrote an order, it'll take two weeks for that sucker to, she's got a ton of orders in one case that are all coming out in about two weeks. The trial's coming up in six weeks. And it was a pretty big hearing today, and I know you guys are broadcast maybe 15 to 30 seconds, so I was wanting to get a copy of the raw, I don't know, it's about an hour long. It's yeah, it's the judge's discretion who is and is not allowed to get video. Um, that, that's, I mean, first of all, we're not inclined to give over a copy, for that to be a violation of... of well, would it go through HP I mean. video or go through you guys? Well, I mean, certainly can ask HP Video for a copy of what airs. They just cover what airs. Right. They don't get the raw video. Um, so, so and we don't give up raw video. So you're refusing to do a media pool then? This year. I understand she didn't. And I understand, I understand where you are, and, you know, the argument over who is and who isn't a legitimate member of the media is a um, valid argument. Um, and, you know, one that I don't really want to get into. Uh, but yeah, the argument, that, that argument will be appealed. Sure, and that argument with the judge is not with us. Um, it's, it's just uh, that her argument was, and I'm and I'm not going to argue right. against the fact that that you're a member of the media because um, our stance generally is generally opposed to any kind of special privileges for media. Right. Um, so you know, but I've been covering it with the other judges. I've been in there covering the whole hearing. I understand that and, and broadcasting that. So, but and, you know, your issues with Judge Lee Woods is not with us. Are you so, guys interested in investigating that at all or covering that at all? Um, if you're covering the case. I mean, that was part of the case, literally. Yeah. Uh, and it was an interesting hearing because, uh, again, the judge and the prosecutor admitted that all ballistics evidence was destroyed mm -hmm. and that uh, there was really no probable cause for any of the uh, charges. And she has not read a day. And it's a covering in depth. I am talking with a national web broadcasting services that covers courtroom. They're interested in this case. I think your your best option is, and, and it'll be an interesting hearing, I mean, when she sets a hearing or you get an appeal, whatever the case is, I mean, the issue of media, That's what I've, I, I think is interesting. I think it is interesting, and I'm not aware of any public access people that have, there's been plenty of cases in public access, and not courtroom access with public access. I'm not aware of it. Because you got be started part. somewhere. You started at the bottom somewhere. Sure. Absolutely. And I, I, I totally get your point. It's, uh, but again, it's her decision, not ours. So it, uh, well, it's your decision point. if you want to release the whole raw data. Yeah, we don't money. ever release raw video. Is there uh, any particular reason for that? Yeah, we need to maintain the integrity of that raw video. Because uh, I wouldn't even be editing it. I'd be broadcasting the whole dang thing. I would not edit at all. Every time somebody comes to us, I mean, if the, hey, you were at this event, and we aren't real happy with the way somebody in the background of that video conducted sure, and want the video, it, my answer is no. We're not there as long. I wouldn't do that either. And my answer has to be consistent. Across the board. Have you ever heard of that in Knox County Court where a media pool was... Actually, oh yeah, well, 
Knox County, I don't think so. Um, you know, it happens all the time. Well, I've covered know. other counties yeah, where they're all seeing cameras in there. Um, I was one of them. So very frequently they will do a pool. Count. How would the tape then work? Well, it happens in a couple of different ways. Because you've got that deadlines to meet. That sort of screws everybody's deadline. The best deadline. way that it works is that we have a box um, that we run the... the oh, you hook in the outside the room. You hook and you get it live. Gotcha. Um, for the really big trials, what generally happens is uh, court TV. Is that what happened in the Dossett case? Because I saw court yes. TV outside and I saw, yep. I thought, you guys next door. It happened in Dossett. That happened in... Um, uh, McLean. Because I was in that hearing covering the Cliff Clark. Probably happened in the, um, the Christian, that sort of deal. So, six and eight weren't there today. No. And so, if I give it to you, they're going to come and say, well, you know, well, I want it. Well, that would be, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, and there'd be a tapes of their stuff, let you edit. We, and, and we do do some of that, but in this case, we've got it, they don't, we're going to maintain the, that competitive. When you get a hearing, I think I might be interested in in covering that. Well, it'll be in the appeals court. It's going straight to the town. Well, but if we had the hearing today right. with, with uh, Judge Leibowitz, right. five, ten minutes, but uh, I'd submit it in agreed yeah, order. Yeah, when you get to the point where you're going to be... Uh, we won't be doing that. That was all done today. That was all done today. Uh, you don't... Get a hearing? They, it's optional. You can yeah. ask for oral argument, yeah. but it's optional to the court. It's not... Man, it's not I'll, I'll, I'll certainly ask. If it does get argued, we might be interested in covering that. Because that is a national precedent. I mean, I'll, I'll sure. appeal it to the Supreme Court even after Absolutely. the Cliff Clark does. case because uh, this would apply in the future, exam up all over, so they need to make a decision. So they're saying bloggers now are media. Some courts are saying they're not media. That's being litigated in the blogger. It's an uncomfortable situation for us because, again, like I said, only our position is media that they not claim any special privilege. Said I can't ban you from the courtroom because as a member of the media, you are granted access. Because she basically said I am the media and right. she can grant me, she can't kick me out of the courtroom. I can take notes. But in an era of bloggers, as you're saying, it, uh, any member of the public could say they want video. And I mean, if they want to start a media website, group and have a TV show and uh, cover... A media group can consist of a website. Well, I've been on TV for two years and won awards in Hollywood. I'm featured on History Channel every month. You know, that's something. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah but, I mean, you understand what I'm saying, is that it's a, it, it is a... Well, uh, they, I understand... I'm glad I'm not the one who's got to decide it. Well, I'm, I understand the prosecution absolutely does not want it to come out. That's deputies into shooting these cameras. And that's... In the defense, that is what they are looking at as a theory of their case. And the deputies go around confirming this, bragging about it. And that's why they destroyed all the ballistics evidence. They threw away the bullets. They threw away the camera housing with the bullet holes. They threw away the cameras that were damaged by the alleged the maintenance records. I mean, they're covering up for these guys. And that's why they don't want them in. Uh, if, if that comes out over the course that's of why the I'm there. Uh, that's we why will I'm there. certainly cover that. That's why I'm there. And one way or another, they're just trying to confirm it, but they're blocking all maintenance records to find other bullet holes and other cameras. Now that Red Flex has been fired for suspected fraud and, and uh, bribery and replaced with laser craft, that company's in head, headquartered in Australia. Their witness won't even show up in court. They keep saying, well, he's in Australia. And they did testify in, in the preliminary hearing that the camera was damaged a day before Cliff Clark's arrest. He was already had a bullet hole in the thing. The main uh, witness in the assault case who Mr. Clark pointed a gun at him when he busted. He couldn't even speak on the stand. He was lying so bad, counterdicting himself. So it was high drama. The trial's going to be even more of that. His lawyer says Cliff Clark's innocent. Cliff Clark says he's innocent. That trial, the, 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 prosec the defense tried to get me thrown out. The prosecution argued, and Judge Leibowitz ordered a public trial, and they can't. He's already ordered that in a prior case. He said this is a public trial, not the defendant's trial. You can't trial. throw anybody out of court. I was an informant in that case. And I didn't uh, testify. I didn't testify, but I found their star witness and gave yeah. that to the uh, Dolly, and that's what won the case with the FBI's help. So that was a fun. Got a bullet hole in my car for appearing on WBIR with the husband of the victim. He got a murder contract put on him, so they had a FBI task force to protect him for appearing on WBIR with me. And I worked for him, and I got a bullet hole in my car at work. So these trials are just, anyway, yeah. I'll leave it with well, you. Well, uh, keep us up to date on your, your case. Sure, I'll do press releases uh, and all that.